In the 1980s, a group of scientists found themselves troubled by a strange problem that seemed to appear in nearly every galaxy they studied, the stars and gas at the outer edges of galaxies were moving far too fast for the visible mass present. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity and Newton's laws of motion, these outer objects should have been moving slower. This puzzling discrepancy led to the hypothesis that dark matter and invisible, mysterious substance was providing extra gravitational pull, holding galaxies together. Dark matter quickly became the dominant theory in astrophysics. However, not everyone was satisfied with this explanation. Some scientists began to wonder, what if there wasn't any dark matter at all? What if the problem wasn't with the galaxies but with our understanding of gravity itself? This is where modified Newtonian dynamics, MOND, comes in a bold alternative to dark matter. It suggested that at very low accelerations, like those found at the outer edges of galaxies, Newton's laws of motion might need to be modified. Essentially, gravity works differently at galactic scales than it does in our solar system. MOND, proposed by physicist Mordi Hay Milgram, was surprisingly effective. It could accurately predict the rotational speeds of stars in galaxies without needing dark matter at all. But here's the thing, MOND doesn't fit into the framework of Einstein's theory of general relativity, which has been tested and proven countless times. This raised an uncomfortable question could Einstein be wrong? So, let's dive deeper into the two competing ideas, dark matter vs. MOND. The idea of dark matter arose because the gravitational pull we observe in galaxies doesn't match the mass we can see. According to Einstein's theory, the visible stars and gas should not be enough to account for the high velocities of stars orbiting galaxies. The most popular solution? There must be some invisible mass dark matter that makes up around 85% of the universe's matter. Dark matter has never been directly observed. It doesn't emit light or radiation, making it incredibly difficult to detect. Scientists continue to search for evidence of dark matter particles, but so far, none have been found. MOND, on the other hand, tries to explain galactic behavior without the need for dark matter. It tweaks Newton's second law at very low accelerations, suggesting that gravity becomes stronger than expected in these conditions. Here's what's fascinating, MOND's predictions are remarkably successful at explaining the motions of stars in galaxies. For spiral galaxies, MOND can predict their rotation curves the speed at which stars orbit the center without invoking invisible dark matter. But MOND isn't without its flaws. It doesn't work as well when applied to galaxy clusters, and it doesn't mesh easily with general relativity, which is one of the cornerstones of modern physics. This has made it less popular in the mainstream scientific community compared to the dark matter hypothesis. Einstein's general relativity is one of the most thoroughly tested theories in science, successfully explaining everything from the orbit of Mercury to the bending of light by massive objects. But it's possible that at very large scales like across galaxies or clusters of galaxies our current understanding of gravity may not hold up. If MOND were correct, it could mean that our laws of gravity are incomplete. This wouldn't necessarily mean Einstein was entirely wrong, but it could mean that his theory of general relativity is just part of a bigger, more complex picture of the universe. It's not unusual for theories in physics to evolve over time Newton's laws were eventually expanded by Einstein's work, after all. Today, most scientists still support the dark matter hypothesis, as it aligns better with what we observe at large cosmic scales, like the cosmic microwave background and the structure of the universe. However, MOND remains an intriguing alternative, especially when it comes to galaxy rotation curves, where it has had surprising success. Some researchers are working on hybrid models that combine aspects of both theories, and others are developing new ideas that could help reconcile the differences. The truth is, we still don't have a definitive answer, and that's what makes this debate so exciting. So, was Einstein wrong? It's not that simple. Einstein's theory of general relativity has been remarkably successful in explaining much of what we observe in the universe. But when it comes to the strange behavior of galaxies, both dark matter and MOND offer different explanations and neither has been proven beyond doubt. 
As we continue to probe deeper into the cosmos with more advanced telescopes and experiments, we may finally get closer to understanding the true nature of gravity, dark matter, and the universe itself. Until then, the question of whether Einstein's ideas need modification remains one of the most fascinating mysteries in modern physics. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more mind-bending content on the mysteries of the universe. What do you think? Could Mond be right, or are we on the right track with dark matter? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.